Today is the last day for pretty much everything this season. Um, by last day, I mean the last, at the time of this video, four hours and 12 minutes of the Clash Games season. So uh, in four hours, the Clash Games season will have come to an end. So don't forget to claim all of your rewards in the, uh, in the gold pass there. Uh, as well as your, I guess, client game awards. I'm so bad about claiming that. And uh, sadly, that also means that the Unlimited Hero event will also be going away, man. Such a good event. Hopefully, they bring it back in the future. Uh, I know I definitely grinded it for a while. Um, but I wanted to... Anyways, I wanted to... Oh, yeah. Uh, it is also the last day, if you have it already. The uh, Goblin High Dive goes away. And uh, I believe there's... a. Uh, there was that foot tribute decoration that I made a video on that came out a couple days ago, and there's like another one. Uh, oh yeah, there was there was this one, the Champion's Flame and the foot tribute. I didn't make a video for the uh, Champion's Flame, but uh, that came out like last week too. Uh, but yeah, these are like this is like the last day, at the time of this video, the last like four hours. So if you if you don't you know get the uh, get the scenery in the shop or all of these skins, then you will have to wait like a year or whenever they get released next. So there's that. And as far as the Unlimited Hero event, that's also going away. So rip. But I wanted to. Uh, make this video in regards to the upcoming season so as we can see here it says it's over 9,000 and it shows like a little preview uh, of the season so I kind of just wanted to talk about this a little bit uh, zooming in it kind of looks like the next season is like anime which is kind of crazy I'm not gonna lie it's kind of crazy so I'm excited it comes out in four hours like I said at the time of this video I'll be streaming Probably after this video comes out, uh, and I stream every single day, literally, on Twitch. We'll get into that in a second. I'll show the Twitch and everything. And I stream on YouTube, too. You should, you should come by and subscribe and uh, like this video and like the streams. But anyways, uh, anime season. Honestly, these skins look pretty wild, man. I mean, definitely unique. And as far as the scenery, uh, whenever that comes out, I'm definitely going to review it. So stay tuned. I know some of you guys always want me to review the uh, sceneries as well when they come out. So I'll definitely be reviewing that. Uh, also, Clan Games or Clan War League starts in four hours. Uh, if you want to join the clan for Clan World League, uh, just join the Discord. Uh, link is down below, and uh, just DM me, I guess. Um, oh yeah, I should probably should have said this when I was talking about um, all of these skins. And I guess there's packs in the shop too. Don't forget to use code Termi or any creative code for that matter if you want to support your boy. Now this this video might seem kind of random, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back into it. Okay, the next upcoming season. I kind of just wanted to talk about it for a second. Um. Wait, where's my holy? Trying, trying my hardest to one take this as best as I can, chat. Even though even, I keep saying chat, even though I'm not live. Okay, so they, as you guys know, Clan Games and the uh, Clash Games uh, season will officially be over, like I said, in four hours. Uh, and then the new season starts. We also have this Clash Anniversary Building Bonanza Challenge. So if you guys don't already know, this is already in game, or it's not already in game yet. It will be active, I think it starts on August 2nd, based on donations. I think we're already, like, at uh, at the time of this video, we're almost at 22 days. Uh, basically, it's a 12% building boost, I believe, on every builder, and it stacks with a gold pass, which is pretty crazy. Um, also, Clash released this video. And it's kind of like a uh, P.E.K.K.A. getting transformed into, like, another skin or something? So I'm looking forward to whatever uh, whatever this is. A lot of people are saying like it looks like Transformers. Uh, honestly, it just looks like a reskin of the P.E.K.K.A. Like an anime. I, I don't know what this means. But either way, though, that's pretty cool. And then they just typed uh, P.E.K.K.A. at the top. Uh, and then we have this that they posted 14 hours ago. These statues surely look familiar. Our heroes are ready. And then it just shows the silhouettes of the four, I'm assuming, uh, based on what we see in game um, from the It's Over 9000. The four hero skins, we got the warden it looks like, the queen, the king, and the royal champion. And then we have like some kind of statues here, which looks similar to the uh, statues that we had uh, in game here. Uh, right here in the events tab. So uh, that's pretty neat, man. I'm not going to lie. If we're getting an anime season. I know a lot of people will be happy about that. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm going to be streaming uh, pretty much every day on uh, YouTube. And Twitch, if you haven't already, follow the Twitch. Um, oh yeah, and I also kind of wanted to just go over the last like month, man. This man, this this month's been kind of crazy. I mean, we we've been just kind of just going insane. Shout out to everybody who's uh, who supported the channel on Twitch, man. Everybody on YouTube as well. Um, and I kind of wanted to, I guess, like also get into like what what do you guys want to see more from me over here on the YouTube side? Like I literally stream every day. 
um like literally every day so tune in if you haven't already bro and i'm also streaming on youtube as well you have some streams that i've been streaming pretty much every day but uh if you have any suggestions like should i do more of this where i just kind of like talk about random stuff or like not really random stuff it's kind of like stuff that's happened last month or last week let me know um oh yeah we also hit 11k or almost 12k on twitch so that's pretty cool we also hosted this uh termies tournament so if you don't know basically uh, we had 20 people, 20 talent 16s, 4 teams. The teams were all randomized, and the uh, winning team received 5 gold passes. It was a sponsored event by a viewer, which is pretty cool. Um, we called it Termies Tournament. 4 teams, 1 winner, 5 gold passes. So, uh, basically, it was 4 teams. 2 teams played, 2 teams played, and then whoever won from those four, uh, 2 teams playing each other, they played in the finals, and uh, they got gold passes. So, if you want to be in that, too... Join the Discord server, the link is down below. So uh, we're going to be having that again this Sunday, so tune in if you want to be a uh, part of it, or at least watch it. Uh, and I've also been doing this, uh, if you haven't been watching, or maybe you have, the Fireball Strat in uh, Legend League. We'll get into that probably here in a second. Um, oh yeah, and we also started streaming to TikTok too. Uploading a couple random TikToks, but go follow me on TikTok. And uh, yeah, I also post, I also like reposted the... Um, clash stuff and i'll tweet when i go live so if you want to follow the twitter you definitely can follow the twitter know when i go live um okay now let's get back into clash portion enough yapping i kind of just wanted to showcase uh like maybe one or two attacks kind of you know let's see i think it was this hit wait maybe not was it it was this one. I wanted to show maybe like one or two hits, showing off a crazy, uh, couple crazy fireballs. This is kind of uh, also get an idea of like what what I'm currently running at Legend. Like, oh yeah, before I get into that too, uh, I had a goal this month, or like honestly the past few months of trying to place top 1,000, and we finally did it, baby, top 408. So uh, yeah, I also wanted to share that I guess in this video. This video, honestly, uh, I've covered like so much stuff. I feel like already. I haven't been uploading on YouTube lately, but I kind of want to just cram everything in one video before the new season gets released, uh, because why not, you know? And I, I, my goal is to also, you know, I've been streaming more consistently on YouTube, but I kind of want to keep, uh, I want to keep streaming to YouTube and Twitch, but I also want to start uploading more videos. So yeah, definitely let me know if I should, um, you know, cover more, like, if, if you guys want guides, I guess, or I'm thinking about doing like a coaching series. So if you want to be part of that, like I said, join the Discord server, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I wanted to showcase a pretty nice fireball i had here i should actually upload this uh, as a clip on tiktok but i'll show it here uh just so you guys can see i'm um, not gonna lie i want to make a prediction i really do believe i've been saying this for months let's be honest certain equipments are just really really uh really really strong so here's what i think is gonna happen uh one of two or two two things could potentially happen in the future uh, they haven't added new levels to the cannons or archer towers yet, so I'm assuming they are going to add those, hopefully before Timeless 17, although uh, a couple months back they did mention how they wanted to eventually make all of the uh, cannons and archer towers merged in their AMA they did on Reddit. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, you should definitely check it out. I think it's on, it's on the Clash of Clans Reddit they did a while ago. Uh, but anyways, two things I think might happen, maybe both. Um, which I don't think they're going to do the first one is nerf equipment because let's be honest, equipment's pretty strong currently, especially the fireball. I'll show you why here in a second. You're going to see this nasty fireball I ended up throwing. Ended up getting pretty much everything here, including the CC, so I don't even have to deal with the CC troops. Pretty nasty stuff, I'm not going to lie. So I just invis, fireball, gets literally everything, and at that point, the base is all she wrote at that point. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I think... They should maybe, they're probably going to lean towards doing one of two things. They're either going to nerf equipment, which I highly doubt they will because I've said this for so many times in the past few months since equipment has been released. Um, people that spend like a lot of money buying ore packs and just a lot of time doing wars, uh, honestly just, just focusing on their equipment. So I don't think they're really going to go the, the route of like nerfing equipment. Um, I think like, I don't know, man. I feel like just in certain armies, some equipments are really strong. Like, for example, this army, I feel like, uh, is really, really strong currently. The Super Witch Fireball Army. I've currently been running this. I literally switched from uh, QC Root Rider, Queen Charge Root Rider, uh, mid-season to this army. And, uh, yeah, I was able to place, um... I mean, granted, I did, I did, I did go crazy and change my defensive base like every day almost. But still, I mean, this army is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. And I see everybody using it, so... Uh, like I said, I think they might go down the route of nerfing equipment, or they might just go the route of buffing defenses, but who knows, man. Honestly, you never know. Uh, but one thing I will say, 
is uh, either way we'll still lock in and we're still gonna try to keep going for uh for top finishes i mean at least for now you know uh and yeah i wanted to talk more about the uh coaching thing i wanted to do so it's not gonna it's just gonna be like a, a thing i do on stream so pretty much if you need help attacking it's not really gonna be like a base i, I don't really do base review things i enjoy more doing like more so doing like attack reviews so here's what i'm thinking we kind of just do uh where you join the stream you join the client you share some replays you ask for tips and i pretty much just give you pointers on what you're doing wrong compliment you on what you're doing right and then you can kind of focus on what you're doing right and change the things you're doing wrong because i see uh so many attackers like in in multiple attacks across the like across different wars across different like it's like some things are just universal like i'll give you an example like when i see for example an e-drag attack with log launchers being placed and like just certain things you know like i don't know like it just frustrates me like not in the sense of like you know uh i don't, I don't know how to explain it the, the point is I think people need uh, need some guidance and need some help, so I'm willing to, uh, you know, just do it on stream for free, of course. So all you need is your time. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, I don't know when I'm going to do it. Um, maybe this month, maybe the month of August. So if you want to be a part of that, join the streams, join the Discord, comment on this video, uh, comment in the streams, and let me know, bro. If you really need help, I'm generally down to help you. So we can we can work it out. Or if you guys want to see guides, maybe. And I'm thinking about maybe starting a series where I upload that on, um, on YouTube as well, man. So... That could be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I pretty much just been talking over this attack here. Uh, pretty nice fireball where I ended up getting this clan castle once again. Fireball is such a, it's such a crazy equipment, man. I remember when it came out initially and everybody was saying it was not going to be good. Same thing with, like, the magic arrow. There's, there's just so many equipments in the game currently. Um, and, and I was saying this on stream yesterday, you know, these, these equipments are definitely play tested and, uh, you know, this even the rocket spear, they're, they're seen as useful to the devs, that's why they release them. And, and you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, they're seen as, once they're released in game, they become too useful, too good, you know? So, uh, I feel like definitely maybe they'll do some uh, some more nerfs or some more balance changes along the way. I'm not sure when. Uh, obviously, no one knows. But I kind of just wanted to give my opinion on that, too. So, yeah, I mean, anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to show off a couple attacks, talk about the new season coming up talk about the last day of this season and uh where you can watch all of my streams and you know kind of just kind of just talking about everything that's happened this month uh oh yeah one more thing crazy month there was drops again but not for clash of clans if you have been watching me for the last like since last year you know there was huge drops for clash of clans and that really boosted the channel a lot um but there was also drops for uh squad busters that happened so we ended up doing like back to back to back 10 hour 10 10 hours and 36 minute stream 12 hour stream almost uh, 11 and a half hour stream so we went pretty crazy those days and then unfortunately i couldn't uh, go crazy after that luckily i was like off for those days but yeah man i'm also going to be playing squad busters i think uh, i think they're doing like some tournaments so if you want to if you want me to post squad bus gameplay or if i should make another squad busters youtube channel maybe so i can keep this channel like clash of clans related uh let me know man honestly i'm really curious to see like what people want to see um but i definitely want to do go the route of like the coaching series i think that could be pretty cool just just for like it'll be content plus i'll literally be helping people like one-on-one -on -one. so it's like i feel like that could be a little more different and unique uh compared to just making like a guide video because like i've already made like guide videos like I, I, a long time ago of course but now i've just kind of just been posting me reacting to to the seasons and stuff and a couple random videos here and there but uh and just like random videos here and there but yeah i mean I, I went through a phase where like i posted like guides for like two weeks straight and those did pretty decent but um i feel like there's like a lot of good youtubers that already post guides so yeah definitely i just want to try that that whole coaching series i think it'd be pretty cool or like some kind of like guide series and then i could just upload that as a content but yeah w tears um W streams lately. If you want to watch the streams, like I said, join the Twitch or watch them on YouTube. And I also stream on TikTok now. So if you want to watch me on TikTok and you prefer a vertical stream, um, yeah, bro, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. I'll be live probably after this video gets released. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Until next time, peace.